I'm Joel McCower, and for more than 20 years, I've been watching and helping companies integrate sustainability and clean technology into their operations and do it in a way that aligns with core business goals and strategy. It's a vibrant and exciting world that's largely hidden from public view, but very much a part of today's business as usual. Extraordinary things are happening every day in some of the world's largest companies, but most of what's going on is happening under the radar. The fact is, when it comes to sustainability, most companies are walking more than they're talking. Yes, why aren't companies talking about this more? Well, there's three reasons. One, most of, most of this stuff is about doing less bad, right? That's kind of a hard story to tell, right? You know, this cup has, you know, 30% less chlorine than it used to have in the manufacturing process, right? That's a beautiful thing. But it's still a matter of, you know, so you mean we're, we're just doing less bad. And so those are challenging stories to tell. The second reason is that most of what companies are doing don't have any, it's not part of the value proposition of what they sell. So General Motors has about 145 assembly plants around the world, and about 110 of those have achieved zero waste to landfill. And company-wide, they're at about 92, 93% Diversion, waste diversion rate. Significant, pretty cool uh, achievement, for which, by the way, they're, they're saving millions and millions and millions of dollars in, in waste costs and materials costs, but it has absolutely nothing to do with selling Chevys. You can't put that on a sticker, talk about it in a showroom. In fact, and this gets to the third reason, that when you do talk about that, you start, you risk uh, that some critics would say, how dare you talk about waste in landfills when you're making internal combustion engines? Um, and so when you point, point out what you're doing right, you, you sometimes inadvertently illuminate problems the public didn't know you had. Many of my audiences are skeptical. Sometimes even the event producers that invite me are skeptics. They often warn me about the audience's lack of knowledge or lack of interest in sustainable business. What I love is taking the audience through a journey showing them what's going on and why, who's doing what, and what the opportunities and challenges are. And at the end, having them say, wow, I had no idea. This is really exciting stuff. And they're right, it is. In fact, the opportunities at the intersection of sustainability and clean technology are some of the most exciting things going on in the world of business today. What's exciting me and my readers and audiences is the growing convergence of energy, information, building, and transportation technologies, what we've dubbed Verge. From smart buildings and smart grids to electric vehicles and smartphone apps, Verge is quickly becoming a hotbed of innovation. This is a technology revolution that's going to significantly impact how companies operate and the products and services they sell, and it's just getting started. This is the, um, uh, happens to be the Microsoft campus in Redmond, Washington. They've got, a, it's kind of a small city, they've got uh, lots of, of space and lots of energy use and lots of energy costs. They've got about 30,000 pieces of mechanical equipment that, that on average, about 20% of them get inspected every year. So it takes about five years for them to go around and physically inspect all of the uh, ventilation ducts and motors and, and, and exit and sensors and, and all the other things that, that are part of this mechanical equipment. They decided to do a pilot where they, they connected up about two and a half million square feet, about the size of the Empire State Building, just to give you some sense of, of scale, uh, with, with about two million connection points that generate a half billion records a day. And they found that they could reduce their energy costs um, pretty significantly with, with relatively small investment using existing technology and personnel. And this is a typ increasingly typical story of how companies are starting to to think about this and what they realized first of all is that this went beyond simply energy use because all of a sudden they had smarter lighting and they could apply this to fire and, and sa public safety parts of this and security and access the, the speed and efficiency of, of the elevators and all the communications much more holistic system but that's still only the first part of this because now what they're beginning to do is stream in data from the weather service, the transit service, the local traffic jurisdictions, and the utilities, and start to create predictive building. If you haven't noticed, I couldn't be more excited about the world of sustainable business and all of the great innovation taking place. This is one of the great untold stories of business today, and I'm happy to be the one telling it.